Hi, thanks for connecting to thatcable.com. We're always here to help. Hi, and welcome to another thatcable.com video. Today we will be showing you how to crimp an RJ45 or Ethernet connector onto a Cat5 or Cat6 cable. Attaching these connectors can be off-putting, but we will show you the quick and easy way to do it. So let's get started. First of all, you will need a pack of RJ45 connectors. You will need a Cat5 or Cat6 cable, and of course, an RJ45 crimp tool. I have posted a link to these products on our website in the description below. Step 1. Slide the boot of the RJ45 connector down the cable ready for later. Not all connectors will have these, but it is important to install this now before you attach the connector as you will not be able to install this later on. Step 2. Take the Cat5 or Cat6 cable that you have and strip back the outer PVC layer. This can be done using the crimp tool as we have done in this video. If your cable has a shield, fold this back over the outer PVC layer. You can then remove any other parts to the cable that are in the way of the 8 internal cores. Step 3. You now need to separate the cores from the pairs by untwisting them. After you have done this you need to straighten out the cores. This can be done by hand. They do not need to be perfect but must be as straight as possible. Step 4. Now you need to arrange the cores into order. Now this part is important. You can either wire to 568A or 568B format. We recommend that you wire to 568B but you must wire the same at either end of the cable. If you were to wire A at one end and B at the other you would create a crossover connection. We have shown pictures of A and B wiring but you can find a picture of this on Google Images quite easily. Step 5. After you have arranged the cores into the correct order, pinch them tightly at the end and cut them down so that they are straight and around about an inch long. Step 6. Carefully insert the cores into the connector. If they are too long, simply take them out and trim them down until they fit perfectly. Once inserted all the way into the end of the connector, insert this into the crimp tool and press down firmly. This will have crimped the connector onto the cable. You can now run the cable boot back up to the connector and it is as simple as that. You can now repeat the above steps for the other side of the cable and you will have the completed cable that you wanted. If you require any further help with this product or any in our range, please do not hesitate to contact us. Once again, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.